A mandatory evacuation has been issued for many low-lying areas in Wakulla County ahead of Hurricane Michael. Our Jada Williams joins us live this morning with a look at how some people in Panacea are choosing to ride out the storm. That's against advice of authorities. Good morning, Jada. <laughs> Good morning, Malcolm. Good morning, Christine. There are some people that are quite a bit away from me uh, down the road who are choosing to stay in their homes and their shops here in St. Mark's as well as the people living in Panacea. Exactly right now. Yeah. To the time, <laughs> to the minute. Pretty much. Is the official start of summer. That's right, people. We're celebrating this morning. It's also the longest day of the year. Uh, the summer solstice officially takes hold right now, 6.07 Eastern time. I'll let you take the rest of that, Alex. <laughs> oh, wait, I I'm not celebrating. We are in first alert weather mode here at WTXL ABC 27. As we continue to track Hurricane Michael for you, this is a live look at the satellite loop. That storm now a category four in the Gulf of Mexico. As you see, it's getting closer, heading directly for Florida's Panhandle and the Big Bend region. The storm is expected to make landfall along the state's coast this afternoon. Alex, what's the very latest? It's a 90 mile per hour category one hurricane, and it looks like it's starting to develop an eye-like feature for the first time in its lifespan here, at least on the visible satellite imagery or the infrared satellite imagery. This was a team effort, and uh, it's still going to take a few, uh, I think, weeks maybe to really shake this one off. This was a rough one, but in good news, the weather pattern is going to be a little more tranquil. Okay. Overall. I no. like that word, tranquil. Yeah, I really we think it's uh, necessary to really stress that. I'd stay off the roads, uh, at least until it clears up a bit. Maybe time for us to take a road trip, Malcolm. Oh, please. You drive. <laughs> no, you, you drive. You know I go too fast. Oh, yeah, I'll drive. <laughs> Breaking news this morning, WTXL is the first on the scene of a house fire in Tallahassee. This house fire is sparking as we are doing our live coverage on air in our 5 o'clock newscast. Yeah, this is along Buckingham Drive. Breaking news happening right now. A fire uh, was reported around 10 o'clock last night, is that correct? Yes, and yeah. it has reignited. Yeah. So they actually put the fire out. It's been out for several hours. But as we know, working in the news business, that these fires can spark right away again, yeah. particularly if this just happened a few hours ago. And I do believe Jada Williams is getting information from the local fire department right now, but we are going to stay with this. Okay. What have you been hearing from neighbors and the family? Thank goodness they weren't home at the time. Is that right? That's very right. It was frightening for me being right across the street from that fire and wondering if it would somehow grow. My tie is all crooked and nobody told me. Now let me help you. All right. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> no. A new attraction will be unveiled today at Capitol Cascades Trail. We need to know what's the plan for this, uh, for this pool party. For this pool party that oh Malcolm, that Malcolm has, place. you know. <laughs> we are here live at Ponce de Leon Park <laughs> for the fifth annual WTXL Turkey Drive. Uh, it's really the perfect weather for the, the holiday season for you to come on out, help us out uh, this turkey drive. So some special guests, and I think you know who they are. Let's take a look with the camera if we can pan over here. Tally Hog. Hey. Thank you so much. <laughs> Don't you feel pretty safe? <laughs> right? I do. Right now, I do. Mary Deacle with Second Harvest of Big Ben. What do you think about the City of Tallahassee Police Department partnering with us every single year to feed families in our community? Well, they rock. That's all I can say about these guys. And you know, for every turkey we get... Breaking news this morning. At least one person is hurt after a package explosion at a FedEx facility near San Antonio, Texas. We are being told by our ABC affiliate in Texas that about 75 employees were working at the FedEx facility at the time that the package exploded, injuring one person. We are told that F the FBI is leading the investigation. One was certainly confirmed that there was an explosion in the southwestern neighborhood in Austin, Texas before that. Previously, there were two other people that were killed due to explosions from packages. So we are definitely keeping an eye on this this morning. Uh, this is developing, so make sure you stay with us for more breaking yeah. news on this. And we do know bomb squad agents are on scene, so they have secured that area. Could you imagine sleeping on a bed that floats this 1.6 million dollar magnetic 
floating bed really floats off the ground and could be yours if you win the Mega Millions jackpot. It's now up to 262 million. Catch the next drawing tomorrow before our 11 p.m. newscast. This might be good for there? sleepwalkers, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, you fall they're just off. Floating and, and no, so you, you won't hurt yourself. Also, Powerball 246 million. So Here's a look at last night's numbers. Catch that drawing Saturday night. Well, if you felt falling no. on the stairs sleepwalking, <laughs> you would know. Here's a look at the Florida Lotto and Fantasy Five numbers. My niece. She passed her permit driving test. There you go. Watch out. Yeah, so She's if you're on the road anytime <laughs> soon, <laughs> just watch out for her. I'm sure a lot of parents and aunts and uncles and grandparents can relate to You'll this. You'll be handing over the keys to your, your car. She keeps you? stealing my keys. <laughs> That's not good. I'm like, no. Oh, oh, there you go. I'll, She's I'll take you to go go kart start. racing. Nope. Okay, go karts. Get those keys.